Good morning. It is here. This is the day of the record games. It's nuts. I don't know what's going on. I got butterflies. Isn't this nuts, man? All these other athletes keep coming and threatening me. Did you see Paul just threaten me? I'm blown away. This is completely mind-boggling. Famous people are here. Great to see so many There we go. All right, look who we have here. Thank you all so much for the support. We couldn't do this without you. I know people say that all the time. I really feel it. I really enjoy meeting you, and thank you so much. When I thought about this event, and when I first thought of it, I called Paul. I said, hey, Paul, get your record put together. We'll call Rory. We'll go hit a trail. We'll film it. We'll put it on our YouTube channel. And uh, Hefe heard me say that, and he said, no, 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 no. We're doing this other thing, and this is it. This is the thing. and their spotter and their helper. So first up, uh, Eric, BSF, the original granddaddy of all over the country. How are you doing? We got you a swag bag here. First of all, we got tissues to wipe away your tears when you walk all over the way. Chicken on biscuit. We got some Wheaties here. It's the uh, breakfast of champions. Got a garbage can here. It says complete department. Sunglasses so no one can see your tear stained eyes when you lose. Can a Mountain Dew. Stolen from Fab Rats. Stolen from Fab Rats. Next up is Merlin with Merlin's Old School Garage. First of all, thank everybody here because I won the golden ticket based on your vote. And I appreciate every one of those votes. Yeah, Merlin's a wild card. So, you guys pulled him through. Oh, Paul, you're going to need the tie in for this man. I hope it's to pack my trophy out of here later. <laughs> so, I'm Paul. I'm going to be uh, captaining that vessel down there. We'll see how it does today. Untested. It's got 93 miles on it, so she's good to go. <laughs> you're going to need this, too. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Here, Sean. <laughs> Uh, this guy has been threatening me all day and yes, some of yesterday. Because you're intimidated, that's not my responsibility. That's on me? I'm Rory Irish. I own that truck right there, Trail Mater. Some of you might have seen it. Thank you guys so much. This is amazing how many people showed up. Like, thank you guys. Without you guys watching, we wouldn't be doing this. And this is amazing. Thank you. Last but not least, the man himself. Lizzie, you're going to have to accept this bag. We might be needing it a little bit later. <laughs> so you guys probably know Lizzie. I've got Lizzie as my helper. We're going to drag you through triple sevens tomorrow. And then Holly. I have picked Holly for my spotter. Holly! She knows the thing we're doing about spotting. All the way from Scotland. Yes, that was good. Since Bob brought I've been working on it. All right. So, I want you guys to understand that we know that the games are rigged. We don't know who they're rigged for. We're hoping they're rigged for your enjoyment. But one thing we wanted to do to make sure this was rigged as fairly as possible, we are giving each driver $100 and $1 bills to bribe their judges. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> there is a point system. Let's get these biased, corrupt. Such judgy judges. It's bribing money. Who is Eric's judges? Chris Miller. I keep the hard one. <laughs> I believe that. Okay, I'll remember that. Robbie Lake. <laughs> we got Connor from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. 
I'm here to bring sweet tea and make money. Everybody knows Judge Abel from early. Step on forward. So we've got Colt from Leaping G. Extra Judgy. Alan from Yankee Merlin's. Hey Merlin, I finally got that friend request. It's gonna cost ya. I already know that he's soft for Skittles. <laughs> and we've got Casey Liddell from <laughs> Casey. <laughs> I would just like to remind Merlin and all the other judges that the bribes don't have to stop at that hundred dollars. All right, who's the judges for Paul? Who is judging for Paul? Oh, I can't, I can't pick these guys. This is, I don't know how this happens. All right, we have got Chad and Chad Fab. We got Rudy from Rudy's Adventure and Design. And we got Scott here from, well, we call him the hoser, but it's Rory. Rory, yes. Rory's judges. First off, we have Ruby. How's it going, guys? Matt, leave the heat. And then we have a wild card judge, and it is Shane. Shane Manwary. The Colonel is what I'm going for. Yes, the Colonel. Uh, Colonel in the National Guard. Colonel in the National Guard. Uh, I just hope he can do push ups. Hey everybody, my name is LT. I'm a drag racer. I know nothing about off road stuff, but you can't be bought. I can't be bought. George is from Planet Earth. Is that how I introduce you? Yep, and that's stuff from Planet Earth. Brian Barnes, Orange Squirrel Drop. It's kind of like in school when you get picked for the team, and like, I think we're last. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robbie, we need you up here. We're going to be moving immediately down here to where these, the Susan Rodeos are. The teams are going to be painting them up. But Robbie is going to be looking for talent to help the teams paint their rigs. All right, so what we've got is we've got spray can. And who wants to help us paint these? All right. Three, two, one, paint! And we're standing right in the wind. about to do this event we don't even know how it works yet he might be pulling blue steel he might be pulling the banana we'll find out it changes all the time uh oh was the Matt's crew is the only one that didn't pick up their judges and take them to the event oh. where were they we were all standing by your rig and you just drove off see so look all the other tow trucks, they're covered with their judges, uh, getting a ride. Oh, look what I did. I mean, it may affect you, it may. We'll see. <laughs> We're not doing we'll so see. good, are we, Lizzie? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, okay, Zach, tell us what's going on here. We're doing the drip dead pole. That's got three bumps only, and then I gotta shut them down. Okay, so three bumps. Three bumps. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the banana. I plan on doing a full pole in two-wheel drive, open this. We're gonna leave these shackles on. Okay, Lizzie, I'm gonna have you in here, running in neutral. The helper is gonna be in the towed vehicle. The vehicle will be running in neutral. If there's any indication, this is the only serious part of this. If there's any indication that the stuck vehicle helps, Zach, What's gonna happen? You disqualify. So there's two different poles here. The first pole is a light pole. This is the tourist in their rental car. And then the second pole is the heavy one. And this is the tourist in their fifth wheel. Both of those are super tourist.
an easy one pull. It was in two wheel drive. It just went straight through. That was pretty good. It was uh, it was it was smooth, which theoretically counts for something. I don't know. I have to reserve um, the coolness factor, um, but I am standing over a wad of 100 ones, and I have not received a single one of them yet. I don't know where the cool factor sits with that, you know? <laughs> Are you a little bit nervous? Never. Never. I was born for this. I don't think we're going to do a full pull, but we're going to try. All right. So just keep us pointed wherever the rope is. Okay. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, ref. So the problem is we've got too much weight for Deadpool. This wrecker's not going to do it. The rest of them won't. Oh, big words. How is this going to affect your scoring? That's up to me. That was hard, this sand is soft. I cannot believe how hard that was. I cannot believe it. That's, uh, that's some serious weight. I should have tested this first to see like how heavy it should be. Now usually when we're out here doing this, I've never had a dead truck. So there's always, the truck's always assisting. We're trying to make this difficult. We made it too difficult. <laughs> Number one, down failed. I'm feeling the booing from people. I'll make it up to you. Promise. I know nothing. What happened? Okay. Was something, did something happen? A headlight, know the hood will peel the fender back. Yeah. Goodbye, mirror. Yep. All right, what's the rule? You got to roll that onto its wheels and then back onto its roof. <laughs> this side up. We're going to flip it in light. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Go long ways. Okay. Okay, right there. Stop. Okay, we're going to do a bridle. So we're going to do two of these. Okay, Lizzie, come out here. Let's get this rigged up. We're trying to get some style points by flipping this end to end. I don't know if it's going to work. It is definitely against, like, like this is how you get on a, a Biggest Fails um, YouTube video. Lizzie, you need to be thinking about how much force it's going to take to pop this on its wheels because you can't do it halfway. I'm driving? I'll drive. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Went for stuff. 
style points. That was the harder way to do that. I think that was good. Lizzie did a good job pulling that over. We kind of went for some style points there on the first one. You would never, ever, 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 ever really do that. But we get to because it's a game. Watching the first one was awesome. It was super cool just to see it go all over. It's super fun to do it. It's not really necessary, but it was fun to do it anyway. And second one was realistic. All right. Style, 10 out of 10. People, 10 out of 10. Team. 10 out of 10. I wonder how everyone else is doing. <laughs> So are they driving up that ramp? Can you do that again? This is this is gonna crush it. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about driving my Richter on. You won't even hardly get on it. Yeah. It's so short. But 1809. Wow. It's pretty impressive. No one in the history of articulation ramps ever got an 1809. Traitor! Third, yeah. This got leaf springs and links, so it does, let's do both. Yeah. Look cool, 13 oh RTI. Yeah. Oh man, the, I think the RTI score was a 10,000. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a six, six, sixty-five. We'll take it. This train is 96 inches wide. That's how wide my track is. Nope. Dino, so I think we just went down a notch. In, in doing the rollover, he did it to a precision. You are in oh. And then, us as judges got to do it. You don't have a Since we're here, that's me to say. He did what? Well, as I said, it was said, Colton, since we were here, put it on his nose. Who wants the way at this event? Come on, up out of your chairs. Let's get this going. There we go, come on, stand up, don't be shy. There we go, keep it going, keep it going. We gotta get it better.
Here we go. This is how strong your weld's going to be. Can you see that? Well, what we do is more rock related. 600, 700? The number to beat is 2400 so far. What's the number? 23, 25? Making you work? 28? Try to make it through there. Nice. Woo! 29.43. Oh, shit. 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 High score of the day. 2,900. I don't know. How'd you make income? 2,943. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have a roll cage. It just has a function. All right. We'll just land on our YouTube channel. Might have heard uh, has anyone been able to pull out of here? What's you guys going have been on here? Did Matt pull it out? Sir, you, this is my judge. Not without help. He's yeah, he <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. You know, exactly. Anybody else pull it out? I got something over here for you. Let's, well, let's, let's we'll talk over this out. way. You don't okay. need to be talking to Matt anymore. Well, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Yeah, he got it. So we just we just came over to see how Matt's doing in his event, and he's dragging me out into the middle of the desert. Why'd you bring me out here? Got some that piece of power came in clutch. What is that? Wow! I need. I need. This is to ensure that BSF gets an amazing stand up on their arms. Where's my clipboard? Mine was on my clipboard. Nothing to see here. Hey, whoa, 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 time out. I gotta. I've been adding categories. My bad. Ten. I've been making my own categories. But hey, corruption everywhere. The bananas broke. Allegedly, we don't know who did it. Allegedly. I didn't see anything. Hey, edit out who did it. I don't know who did it. He doesn't have a welder. It's okay. He's got a welder. Well, we're, we're going to DC. He's going to, yeah, straight DC it. Uh, getting my steps in. And who's having more fun than us? Nobody. Nobody. Look at that old fans. school small block amazing Chevy. I mean, all of you just constantly watch coming out here. There's been a lot of work done in this world with a small block Chevy. So this is a nerve center live at the record games. We're working on this Sunday's video, the previous Sunday's video from the one you're watching right now. This is Zach, actually, the man behind a lot of the videos you watch. Going on to triple sevens, towing a vehicle with no reverse would be insane. All right, we are the end of day one, and we jumped in the record to come get blue steel, and I went to put it in reverse, and there's nothing, no reverse. Mirror, gone. No, it's not gone. Well, <laughs> that was like <laughs> popped in, headlight <laughs> shattered. <laughs> Good 
morning. It is day two, it's Friday. Today is the day we're gonna be dragging those Isuzu's up through the trail. My main judge here won't leave me alone. He's been judging everything, everything I'm doing. But I'm gonna judge him now. I'm giving him a perfect 10 on his color coordination. Amazing. He's trying to get away with not bribing me with actual cash. Yeah, it's, it's just with compliments. I'm feeling a little bit better than I was last night. We still don't have reverse, but I'm thinking with Holly as my spotter, Lizzie as my helper, and then the four other world's best off-road recovery guys surrounding me, I think we're gonna make it through the trail. Uh, we need to gang up on all these other guys anyway. This square body pile up here, like, yeah. we're, we're the show. They're just, I don't know what they are, but we're the show. I heard you put on a show. I, like, when I say I heard you put on a show, I was you, standing here you, listening to you, you literally put on it. a show. Yeah, <laughs> now we, uh... I saw your video, by the way, and you were right. Yeah. Terrified, happy, terrified, excited, yeah. terrified. <laughs> I see you reach for the door and then reach for the dash. Awesome. <laughs> we're going to possibly make it. Woohoo! Yeah, no, we need to reverse. No mistakes. No. All right, we're getting lined up here. We're gonna be hooking up to these rigs. We're gonna be pulling them over to the starting line and then driving through there. We made a little strategy change. I'm gonna put Merlin behind me in case I need reverse. <laughs> we might, I don't know. I don't think we will. I think we'll be fine. Okay. Holly will just put us in the perfect position every time and we'll be absolutely fine. Rear, rear steer is gonna be a game changer for us. For sure. Yeah. built our X ropes. Nope. So, got an idea? Um, not a good one. You need us some ropes. the secret weapon. Here we go. There's a secret weapon. So Rory's got a, a leaf blower. He's blowing all the sand off the trail for him. And then he told me he's going to blow the sand back on. This is no joke. This first obstacle is not, not to be tried with. Good. Lazy, how did that feel for you? 
was like this, and then I was like this, and then I was like this. You were good 10 feet off the ground. Is the brakes really? working good? Yeah, yeah, they're working great. It's, it's making me a little bit more confident with how good these brakes are. <laughs> Definitely confident. We didn't have brakes. You cut the brake line. The brake line got cut to the rear, so we couldn't stop it going off a hill. So we're towing it backwards now, so we've got some brakes. I'm thinking that with the steering, this might be an advantage. It might be a good, it might be a good thing. But your neck's going to be sore from looking backwards. You, you we got a helmet. Mirrors. There's not even a mirror. Well, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zach. That's Back down again. everywhere you have to go over the middle of it and it feels awful in a normal Jeep in a wrecker might feel better but pulling Lizzie behind I don't know it's gonna be a little sketchy them just give me twenty dollars and I will get you up here. Twenty dollars for my services is like five cents. <laughs> She's expensive. I'd only charged a buck. I'd have got him up. <laughs> Mischief Baker.
just noticed that Merlin is roasting me with his less on the back of his rig, playing off of more. <laughs> Nicely done, Merlin. Go up this? Yeah, this. I think we'll just walk right up this. Yeah, I think. We'll. So he just made it up and gave himself a little bit of ice like you. Boom. But thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, you can give me five with your. Boom. <laughs> There just lost to a front leaf spring bolt, which turned into like a losing a leaf, leaf spring and a front drive shaft. Oh it's no! Just, everything came came disconnected. Apart at once. So they're fixing it right now. All right, is that where we're stopped? That's so shut down. Up. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're gonna go see what's going on with Eric. I'll take Makota. How's this looking? Is this, you got everything for oh, a repair? Yeah, you're gonna have to choke it. Oh. <laughs> We kind of got let down by our no reverse back there. If we'd had reverse, we'd have been through that thing in a second. Incredible thing, but going over here with just off back. 
This one's pretty gnarly. I feel like I've been generous. I think they've been working good. Holly's on point with her spotting. You know, even though he doesn't have a reverse, he's he's doing awesome. How does it feel to be hit by the world's largest off-roader? It's awesome. He broke our window. Oh, man. Is he going to pay for it? <laughs> We're going to sue him. We'll deduct points, I hope. And okay. Ooh, yeah. I'll make sure that happens. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, what do we got up here? More traffic?
everybody else is like, uh, this is so much fun. Look at that guy go. I think it's serious. Dude. There's no damage on this. What? Who do you think has this in the bag? I'm not gonna go on record. Oh no! Yep, not gonna go on record. sevens we're now on the top of double sammy there's the finish line right there we're gonna make it
Thank you guys for coming out. Give yourself all a big round of applause. You guys are amazing. I need the top of this Jeep. Rory, I need you up there. Paul, I need you up there. Murray. Everybody off the top of the Jeep. I want to thank all you guys once again. Normally, this crew up here, we're out doing work that we thoroughly enjoy and it's tons of fun. But today we got to come out for nothing but fun. And we don't get to do that. Like the very we pull it. Paul, how careful were you with your rig? For the first three or four minutes, I was really careful. And then we decided it didn't have any brakes and all bets were off. Yes, that rocks! So, so for, from, my, from my point of view, Rory was being very careful, very cautious. Paul put the only dent in his vehicle by running into it. I, d I just heard about that. I didn't get to see it. I got to watch Merlin full western the entire way up here and then i tried to like bring it back down to rory's level didn't do it because i caused a lot of damage there <laughs> they were saying that we're being so careful and we're so focused this is the first recovery that i've ever done that we didn't have to care about the vehicle we're pulling <laughs> this, this has definitely been a controlled demolition derby and uh you know we've got trail mater here I got tow mater here. Where are my diesel fans? Matt, <laughs> one of these. Oh. Victory pie. Oh, victory pie. Yeah. Oh, the victory pie. I'm breaking up the victory pie right now. Yeah. <laughs> If you're wondering what it tastes like, it tastes like sweet victory. <laughs> Bonus line. All right, Rory has been talking nonstop about the bonus line. Ever since I talked about this trail, he's like, I'm doing the shoot, I'm doing the shoot, I'm doing the shoot. I'm like, the shoot is off limits. Should we let Rory do the shoot? Okay, so if you run your tow truck up the shoot, I guess it's five points. If you tow the rig up it, it's 20 points. That's 25 total. Yeah.
still have reverse and three forwards. <laughs> that was my first time. I've never been to the shoot before. That was my first time up it and it was awesome. I literally, like, it was like straight up when we got to the top and the boom was hooked onto the front of it. But we're heading back now and it was a good day. All right, that was awesome. This is incredible. We went through the shoot. Bonus points. Good morning, it is day three of the off-road record games. We're gonna head over here to the, where did Jamie go? I'm right here. There you are. Right hand side. We're heading over to the BSF tent because we've got their piece of the victory pie. Did everyone take a bite of that victory yeah. pie? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna come over here and make sure that Eric, if Eric's here yet, he's gonna get a piece of his pie. There he is right there. So Eric, oh, off the trail, we all shared a victory pie and we left you a piece. You, you let, yeah. <laughs> the key word is left me. <laughs> Watch out, you never know what it might be. Oh, I don't even know where it came from, but somebody handed it to me up there. They handed it to you up there. There was some victory pie out on the trail yesterday. There was no way. Victory. Boy, does that taste good. <laughs> These guys, all the way from Wisconsin, brought a truck not built for our terrain. Not, I mean, a little bit, but not a ton of experience. You've never been on that trail. I've never been on that trail. I've only wheeled out there with you a couple years ago. Yeah. Will we do two trails then? Yeah. And nothing, so, nothing that level. No, no, nothing no, quite like trail. that. That and, was absolutely amazing. And he just stuck with it. I talked to Robbie because I'm like, how's, how's Eric doing? Like, where's his headspace? And Robbie's like, I've never seen a guy so level. Beginning of the day, end of the day, same level. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations, man. That was awesome. Thank you. All right. So this is the trail cleanup portion of the event. When we talked to Sand Hollow, we told them we will definitely make sure that the trash is cleaned up. We have a small problem. None of you left any trash. In fact, all I've seen is people pick up trash that was here from previous, which isn't bad because people really take care of this park really well. So I would bet you there's been less than 50 pieces of trash picked up so far. And there is people everywhere. They are combing, they are combing everything. They're down there combing the beach. I've been to events here where this would be a half day job for two or 300 people to clean up one trail. This says a lot about the viewers. Like you guys are amazing. You came out here and you did not destroy or leave a mess or anything. This is awesome. amazing. Big shout out to Tread Lightly. Your message is getting out there. It's not getting out there to the off-road group. There's many other events that come out here as four wheel drive events, leave this place a mess. And this is just normal people that showed up to watch this and left it spotless. Amazing, you guys are amazing. But we're gonna hold up our end of the bargain. We're going entirely through this trail. We're gonna make sure that there is no garbage. We'll pick up anything that we find. Hey, we brought the dumpster, the traveling dumpster. I mean, I love this rig, I do, but it, it'll haul some garbage. Trash? Mine though, I'm gonna pack it out. Hey Matt, are we just horsing around or what? There's only two people here I know that are horsing around. very tall rig that I'm trying to not have upside down again. Yeah, we don't want, <laughs> we don't want upside down again cake. <laughs> We had an, an incident. We're getting them back on their wheels. 
Okay, go ahead and start pulling together. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hey guys. That's how it's done. Nice job, Alan. I know that this is disappointing. This is disappointing. Well, you did give us a purpose. We can clean up. <laughs> do you want to see if it'll start or do we need to pull spark plugs? It was running. Everybody all right, Alan? I love renting on stuff. Yeah, do you? Makes a better driver out of you. Hey guys, what's up? It's been an incredible day today. The weather's been holding off for the most part. Yeah. We had a little rain, but it's not stopped anyone from being out here. You guys have been incredible. There's been lines for everyone. We're meeting everyone. We're signing t-shirts. We're signing the record t-shirts. We're signing hats. Uh -huh. It's just been absolutely incredible. Yep. I actually thought there weren't going to be many people here today. Totally yeah. wrong. killed him honestly so I put him in his car he was laying on his uh, floorboard just smiling and his truck was still running so I got his truck shut off it took him like I don't know what 
How long? I don't remember any of it. This is your part. <laughs> so I can tell it how I want, but later he woke up finally and asked when he was going to derby. So he hit hard. But he beat me the next year, so he made up for it. But So yeah, we, we go way back. Getting in, inside Paul's friend circle been a real blessing in my life. I'd just like to thank Paul for everything that he's, that he's done for me. And, you know, a lot of people are trying to pin this event on me. It's not. It's uh, not only am I including all of you in this, but my friends up here on the stage, they're what shaped and molded us to do this thing. So I just want to tell that story about Paul. Uh, somebody's asking if we're going to derby again, and it's looking really good. Let's talk about record games. Oh, record games. Do you guys think we should do this again? Do you want your ability to redeem yourself? Shots fired. I've been trying to get this guy kicked out of the event for three days. Security, I know where he's at. You want Rory's story? All right, so once again, a long, long time ago when I started doing YouTube, I would have people come into my shop to visit me and they said, hey, there's a super cool guy out to Moab and he's got a shop and he does off-road recovery and I know that he watches your show. So I'm like, okay. And then I found out he had a YouTube channel and I looked at it and I'm like, man, 45 minutes of a left front tire of some cool record. <laughs> So then, I went out there, and I met Rory. What's the Easter Jeep so far? What, is that when we first met? No, no uh, Winter Jamboree over here. I came over here. Yeah, okay, so Rory was the instigator. So he, <laughs> so he came over, and I was fascinated by his truck. Like, I hear some people say, well, it's stirred off pretty, but it gets it done, and I beg to differ. <laughs> That truck has a soul. There's something very alive about that truck. Another part of that story is while that was happening, people would come in to my shop and go, well, you watch Matt's channel. I'm like, yeah, I watch Matt's channel. Well, you must learn a lot from watching that. <laughs> and me being me, I don't know how many hearts I broke, but I said, well, that's not how we recovered. <laughs> not saying anything wrong with that. I just I hate saying. <laughs> Rory has told me on multiple occasions that I can keep my sand, and he was very descriptive about what kind of sand I could keep. And where you could and, keep yeah, it. Yeah, where I could keep it. So <laughs> we're going to keep the sand here. We'll let Rory drive around in his pretty little clean rocks. But that, that, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is when I met Rory, I said, you have got to start talking to your audience and you are going to be successful on YouTube. Yeah. And here we are two years later and me being deathly afraid of talking in front of a crowd. <laughs> and here I am. But it goes back to you guys because I told Matt nobody wants to watch me work. Apparently, a lot of people do, and I appreciate all of you for that. Thank you. All right, let's bring Eric up here. <laughs> I have a story about Eric, too. So, when I started doing off-road recovery, I was a YouTube watcher, and you know how Google listens to you? It started showing me Eric's videos, so I started watching him. I'm reading through his comments. I comment every once in a while, and I notice that Eric has a very loyal group of followers. And, I, and the reason that is, is because he is active in his four-wheel drive community. He's active in making sure that people res responsibly wheel. He's out there taking care of problems, solving people's problems, making sure that the parks and the, the other authorities that are over it are gonna have a good time because he's out there solving all these problems. He was an inspiration for me to start YouTubing. I know that you can 
draw a line from Eric to me to Paul to Rory on this channel, which means that you can draw a line to him for this event. And that's why he's here, the original off-road recovery YouTube personality. Thank you, Matt. You know, when I started the YouTube channel, for me it was just a, a way to try and maintain uh, some money to uh, keep the record going just because I wanted to help people out. That's all it was for. And I never would have dreamed that it would have turned into this because of all of you guys. Awesome. Hey, Eric. Yeah. We've got a special something for you. Calendar Lift reached out to us and they want to give you a lift for your shop. Yeah. No more yeah. Yeah. That, that is That is incredible. I never would have dreamed. It, this is amazing. We have to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you deserve it. Every single thing, you deserve it. All right, what driver did we forget? Merlin, come on up here. <laughs> friendship with Paul, I keep hearing about his crazy co cousin Merlin, and I'm like, Paul, I know like 45 people that are directly related to you, I don't need to know 48. <laughs> so it never really developed. Then in my channel, when we started even mentioning off-road record games, I just see his name, Merlin needs to be there, Merlin, I'm like, who the heck's Merlin? Paul's like, hey, you know my cousin Merlin? That's Merlin. So I'm like, I don't want some boring guy with a diesel engine to come and wreck everything at the off-road record games. You want to defend yourself? So I've got to give a shout out to all of you guys. Because you're the ones that put me here. I literally walked into Matt's shop right before you voted and introduced myself to him. And that is no joke. He said, we'll let the internet decide who the fifth ticket is and it was seven to one it was higher than that. so he didn't know a lot about me other than what my cousin Paul might have told him and I know a lot of people on the internet they know you know I was involved with Vegas rat rods and a bunch of other goofy stuff but I actually used to professionally rock crawl in fact I had a chance to race king of the hammers in 2010 and uh, my wife had to have emergency brain surgery so I sold everything, and I think I redeemed myself here. Thank you. I'm gonna let things get a little serious here for a moment. I gotta say some shout outs first, and we're gonna, we're gonna open up to all of you about something that happened, happened yesterday, and bring you in, because you guys are nothing but family to us, and we love you. The first thing is, because of you helping out here, our local community, the proceeds, they're gonna be donated to UPLA, all the volunteers, I mean, most of them are part of UPLA, and helping us enjoy this amazing land and keeping it open and free for us. Give it up for UPLA. <laughs> to our amazing state park workers here at San Hollow. Then also, they're gonna receive some proceeds as well as the Washington County Search and Rescue. With them on the, that recognition, I have to recognize Washington County Sheriff's Department, the EMT medical staff, our National Guard for being here. And also for the nice night. I need Hefe to come up here and kind of uh, let you all know and be a part of this with us. So yesterday, you're probably wondering what life light -like happened. And I lost one of my best friends yesterday. That's Robert Blake. He is a good man. He was the head of our security team. He's gonna be missed. He was an instrumental person 
to help make all of this happen. And we're trying, we're raising money for his wife, Paige, who also was down here helping us put this together. She was the one at registration. You probably all met her as you came through. So we're raising money for her. There's also a GoFundMe. But I just want to thank Robert wherever he's at. He's a great guy. It'll be hard going on without him. We're going to have a moment of silence. Robert came out here because he loved all of you guys and he loved the love that he got from you guys. And I want to thank all of you. It was a great send off for a great man. Thank you guys. And thanks for coming out. All right, we're going to move along. Um, Robert would have wanted us to do exactly what's happened. This is a celebration. Let's celebrate. Let's keep going with this. I want you to know right up front, this game, these games were rigged. And you're looking at the ones who rigged them. These judges, they're, they're corrupt. They are, their moral compass is spinning like a turbo. There's an issue going on over here, Matt, that we have to point out with these judges. So if you don't like them because your favorite competitor did not win, this is how you take it out against them, okay? This is how you get retribution for what they did to you and who you care about most. The key is you go to each one of their YouTube channels and you have to watch four to five videos of theirs. You have to comment and you have to like and subscribe because if you don't watch, four to five videos, if you only watch two or three, the algorithm's not gonna pick it up and they will never know that you were very frustrated with their with their judging capabilities, okay? So don't take it out on the competitors, don't take it out on Matt, you go to each one of their YouTube channels. And how many videos do you watch? Five. Five, better. Ten. Ten. Oh. Robbie's channel, he's needing some help it looks like. He needs <laughs> ten, right there, it's okay. We'll all watch Shen. Okay, Lizzie, tell us what you got there. <laughs> what, did, what did the judges get? I got some peanuts. I said, this event would have been nuts without you. Thank you for your help. I am super bummed. We had a plaque made up that said, most corrupt judge for the first ever off-road record games. That we were going to get to whoever had the highest bribe count. But it's in Tom Tom's truck, Aww. an hour away from here. <laughs> Yes, this is a metaphor for the keys. But, do you guys want to know who was the most corrupt judge? Yeah! All right. Robert! Rudy, how much money did you take? I took away $210. All right, Chad, let's hear it. I was pretty weak, like 50. Alan? About 20 pounds of Skittles. Robbie? $81. He's lying. He's corrupt. $500. $581. All right, Connor. What did you take? I just had Merlin make me a hot dog. <laughs> Any cash at all? I made like 40-something bucks, but the hot dog was better. All right, Chris. So did he even... Good that number good. sounds made up. Yeah. I got fives. <laughs> All right, Brad, how about you? Only 60 for me. Matt, bleeping Jeep, how much money did you take? I got $11 and 45 Dr. Peppers. <laughs> Cole for bleeping Jeep, what do you got? I got $30 and about half as many Dr. Peppers that I gave to Matt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ruby, how about you? I got a sausage, a half a case of Diet Dew, and 26 bucks. All right, she's coming down pretty clean. Not too corrupt. Nope, not too All nice, right. apparently. Scott, what do we got? 36 bucks, a sprained ankle, and a sore hip. <laughs> Did the sprained ankle and the sore hip go against or for your driver? I'm trying to get out of Merlin's way. <laughs> You're not the only one. All right, the Colonel. I was committed to take no money. It didn't seem right. I was against it. 
but Rory started putting three dollars in my pocket, and that was more weird, so I just took it from him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no follow-ups. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Casey Liddell, what do you got? Zero dollars. Uh, a little boy named Mateo came over and told us that the international that me and Ben brought was his favorite truck of the event, so I gave all my bright money to him. George, I, I knew you were corrupt coming into it. Let's see how corrupt. I would love to say how corrupt I was, but I actually lost to Matt and the Colonel, and I got $36. But I got some money from a civilian. How much? Five bucks. <laughs> It sounds like Robbie won the most corrupt judge. Yeah, but he's a liar. Yeah. All right. So instead of giving you a nice metal plaque, we're going to give you this corrupt cardboard award that says most corrupt judge. I might have been the most corrupt judge, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. 581. Actually, there's $81 here. Plus, plus the colonel. He didn't tell you, he gave me all his money, plus another $580, plus another whatever this is, and this is going to Paige. Yeah! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's what you look like? That's what I look like. This is what I look like without a hat. So if you love the banana, you're gonna love the plantain. The door off of Merlin's plantain because less is more, as we found out yesterday. Yeah. They're gonna go, after the end of this event, they're gonna go over to Merlin's booth, and you can win this booth. He's gonna do a, an auction, and all proceeds are gonna go to Paige and the Blake family to help out. So if you want that, you can head on over there. Thanks to all these judges. Some of these guys had to ride in some very sketchy rides up some very sketchy things, some very sketchy people. So let's give it up to these guys for these guys. What you guys have all cared about is who won the record games. So nobody else knows who these winners are except for me. We tallied up the numbers. And it's quite interesting. I haven't even shared it with Marvin. So, whew, here we go. Can we get some drum roll on this for our first, no, 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 sorry, wrong words. Our fourth loser of the record games, voted by the judges. They came together in consensus and decided that this person made it, the record games too boring, made all the obstacles yesterday look too easy, just walking through the park with no and no reverse, our fourth loser of the record game, give it up for Matt! We got the Look who built it! <laughs> We've lost our sound. Right at the crucial moment. Yeah. I'm about to get roasted by Rory. Oh, we can do that without sound. Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's roll. You know who made this in the welding contest? So, I got to make the trophy for Matt. This is awesome. This is so, so special. That's horrible. That's how it's going to work for everybody. Yes, yeah. Except for me, I built my first place from down there. All right, so, how do you feel about the fourth loser position? Do you think you deserve it? I think it's better than first loser. That sounds way worse. <laughs> and it does. It says fourth loser of the first ever off-road record games. Woo! And the trophy is welded together by Rory, I understand, right? Yeah, so why the why the mics were off, Rory was up here roasting, rubbing it in my face, how he had reverse. And, and how he welded this up, and he put a sticker on it, and I won't be able to peel it off. <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. You the fourth the loser. Again, if you're angry at the judges, you go to their videos. And how many videos do you watch? Five! Ten! Ten if it's Robbie, five everybody else. Okay, the next one up, our third loser of the first annual record game.
So huge, huge shout out to Marvin here, Flex Rocks and Rollovers. Check out his channel. He emceed this event. He flew all the way out here oh. against your will. <laughs> no, no, totally not. I appreciate the opportunity, man. Really, thank you so thank much. Thank you for so much. Me. You stepped up at the last second. It was awesome. I had a time of my life out here. This was great. All right, folks. The record games is living in the past. Time to move forward. But check this baby out. This is my trophy. Woohoo! Last place. And I deserved it. I worked hard for it. Hmm. Do you know who made this? Rory. Rory welded this up during the welding competition. But I'm going to judge these welds because I believe the judges that did this were corrupt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Rory, I'm going to need to see you after class in the principal's office. We have a lot of people to thank for this event. It was amazing. It went, on, it went so good, I got a letter from the mayor. All right, it takes an army of people to get this done. We had almost 200 volunteers. Thank you guys so much. It also costs a lot of money to put an event on like this, and we had sponsors come through in a huge way to make sure this happened. First of all, Milestar Tires. They sponsored a dozen set of tires for this event or more. Tons of support. Thank you guys for that. Milestar Tires. Harbor Freight supplied the generators to run the whole show. Thank you, that was awesome. They also gave away a winch and a jack at the event. Some other stuff, thank you guys so much. Huge shout out and thanks to Miller Welder for helping with this event. Utah Public Lands Alliance. They brought in a whole bunch of the volunteers to help with this. Thank you guys so much. We really enjoy working with you and look forward to things to come. Pink Box Donuts. They made sure that there was fresh donuts in a pink box all over the event for the volunteers and for the participants. It was awesome because you could just walk up, open the lid, grab a donut, and just put it in your mouth. It was awesome. Thank you, guys. Jersey Mike Subs and Chick-fil-A. Awesome. Thank you so much. They made sandwiches for all the volunteers and for their participants. Um, I know it saved my life out there on the trail. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Davis Farmer's Market out of Laverkin and Lynn's Grocery Store out of Hurricane. They supplied snacks for all the volunteers and participants. Thank you guys so much for that. Pepsi brought like three pallets of drinks out. So there was a pallet of stolen Mountain Dew and then there was a couple pallets of Propel flavored water. Awesome. Thank you guys. With about 6,000 peoples at this event, we had to have shuttles everywhere. Mad Moose Rentals, awesome. Came through with 50 razors. People running around all over the place from the parking lots to the events. Also, Red Rock Humvee Tours, thank you so much. They had a half a dozen Hummers out there just transporting people. Super cool, thanks. Steve Maxfield showed up with a bunch of six-door Jeeps at the last minute and he was trucking people around. Thank you for volunteering that, we appreciate it. Ben from Off-Road Recovery and Towing showed up with a bunch of rigs and they also help transport people around. Thank you so much. And then Tuacon Amphitheater loaned us a bus. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate the support. So I got poop. So they provide the, the porta potties for this whole event. They got them all over and around for people to use. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Jenkins Oil with the Rally Stop gas station in Cedar City. They brought a fuel truck down and donated the fuel for this event. Thank you guys so much. Dumpster Dudes, thank you so much. They supplied dumpsters for the whole event. Plus they have a dumpster in the yard that we stuffed an RV in after we drove the wrecker through it. It's awesome. Thanks. Dixie Four Wheel Drive loaned us their RTI ramp so that we could flex the flex the wreckers out. It was awesome. Thanks guys. Ballard Auto Wrecking out of Hurricane came through with five or six Isuzu Rodeos. That's what we painted up and pulled through the trail. Thanks so much for that. You're awesome. Big thanks to Sand Hollow State Park for letting us put this event on. Thank you guys so much. See you next year. There were lots of people that made this work, and all of these sponsors helped to make this event amazing. Thank you so much for your contribution. We also had a whole pile of corrupt judges that were filming their story. They've got YouTube channels. Check them out here. So if you'd like to find out where the rest of these great athletes placed, you can check out Paul at Fabrats, Merlin at Merlin's Old School Garage, Rory at Trail Mater, Eric at BSF Recovery Team. And after you've watched those boring guys, come back here for more great videos. Thank you so much, everybody. We really appreciate it. We've been saying the whole time. You guys are great. We'll see you again. And thanks for watching.